Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm doing the top 10 triple double threats of all time. Number one, Oscar Robertson. Oscar Robertson played like a long, long time ago, but I think Russell Westbrook just recently beat his record for most, um, uh, most uh, triple doubles ever in a career. He might not have broken that one, but I know he broke the seasons in a row, averaging a triple double. But I, I think he beat the most in a career from Oscar Robertson. Oscar Robertson held that for a long time. He was always, he was a point guard. But he was, he was basically Russell Westbrook before Russell Westbrook. If you know anything about Russell Westbrook, you know he could take his shots, he could get his rebounds, and he could score, and he could defend. That's what Russell Westbrook could do. He's basically Russell Westbrook from like 50 years before Russell Westbrook. Before Russell Westbrook. Number two, Russell Westbrook. Oscar Robertson, school, basically Oscar Robertson, score, rebound, pass, defend, but he's doing a more modern era where you need more shooting, but he can't shoot, so that's, and he's still getting triple doubles, still considered one of the best players in the league, so even though he can't really shoot, he's still finding a way to make his way around the league, first Westbrook, re Recently got traded to the Rockets. I think he's going to be going to do good and good with James Harden. And I think he's still going to average the triple doubles with James Harden. But um, it'll be harder for him because he has another really good player. He has another player that wants the ball a lot on, on his team. But he'll still be able to get average a triple double, I think, next year. Number three, Magic Johnson. Flashy passes. And that's how he got 10 assists. I mean, he always got over 10 points. He would average about 18 points. A lot. He wouldn't always score like 20 points. But he could, he would be able to like rebound stuff. And uh, he, he could still get rebounds because he was a really big point guard. He was 6'9". Still a fan because he's obviously 6'9", guarding point guards. So he's always able to do stuff. Most of point guards can't. Point guards that he's just like, if there, you have a point guard guarding him or a, you have a point guard guarding him, that he's going to get crushed. He's 6'9". He was a 6'9 point guard. Number four, Jason Kidd. Really, you know, like, Distant scoring, but he could also get rebounds. Point guard that kind of could get rebounds too, not really because of his jumps, just his how he played. He was always kind of like under the bucket point guard, under the basket pass, throws it down to the basket, but then scores in the basket. So he always has a chance to get those rebounds. So he could always he could always get rebounds. Number five, Walt Chamberlain. Walt Chamberlain, um. Uh, Really, really big and played in an era where big was the best part of the league. Big was big. It's the best part of the league. He's the pro old the record for most points in a game, 100. He could get a fist, which makes me go think because I don't like he was like the only person scoring on his team. <laughs> but he would also, he could also rebound obviously when you're like a big center you can obviously rebound so centers always like if they can score they can get double doubles if they can score almost every game <laughs> number six Larry Bird I mean score defend rebound assist literally every person that can get triple doubles does like the same thing because they're doing the same thing but Larry Bird scores tremendously, like right before Michael Jordan, because he's getting like not like when Michael Jordan's prime hits, it's Larry Bird's down years. So like they kind of fitted to where <laughs> there wasn't those like there was still that attack, but it wasn't really like as big. But he would be able to score from the three like crazy in the eighties, 
he could shoot. He could really, really shoot. But he could defend, and he could not really rebound that much, but, I mean, he could still get triple doubles because he could find a way to get rebounds. And he could pass. He he scored a lot and didn't pass a lot, but he would, like, I want 10 assists, I'm going to pass <laughs> so I can get my triple double. Seven. LeBron James. LeBron James. What else do I got to say? Score amazingly. We all know who LeBron James is, obviously. He can score amazingly. He... He can also defend. Get assists, get rebounds. Last year, he had... Like, last year was considered a down year for him. He averaged 27 points, 8 rebounds, and 8 assists. That's a down year? That proves you're that good. When a down year is two more assists and two more rebounds each game, and you have a triple-double and 27 points with a triple-double. What? Like, that's not normal. And he's always been able to do flashy stuff. It's always been fun to watch. Number eight, Fat Lever. Also, his real name is Fate Lever. But Fat Lever, funny, he's actually small. Actually small. 6'3", 170. That's really small for somebody's nickname to be Fat Lever. And, I mean, he could do stuff. I mean, he was good. Good score, good. He was like more like I'm like all around. I'll do them all about the same. Not like LeBron, like I'm going to score over what I need to do. Rebound over and assist over. He, he's like more on point, like like, tw- like like smaller points, smaller rebound, smaller assist, but they're still tripled up. Eight. Grant Hill, not a lot to say. Bigger guy, get rebounds, score, defend. Not probably not the best out of the defenders on this list, but I mean you could still do it. Number ten, Michael Jordan. I've got to say something. Really, Michael Jordan, number ten. Okay, um, okay, but he has triple doubles. Okay. This man's didn't pass. <laughs> he was always a great defender, always could score. We all know Michael Jordan always would pass sometimes. Like, I went tennis, so I'll pass. I'll pass to get my triple double. And then could rebound decently. And that's it for this video. If you liked it, drop a like. If you didn't, well, Too bad. Just waste like 10 minutes of your day.